Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brett and I, Middle Middle USA here, and this is going to be a review of a beautiful Smith & Wesson Model 586 Classic in 4-inch. We shot over 200 rounds of Sig Sauer Elite Performance Ammunition through this revolver during the test, and it was a fantastic shooter. To no surprise to the people that own it, this thing is tremendous. All right, guys, the Smith & Wesson Model 586 Classic. This is a classic series, six-shot L-frame Smith & Wesson revolver, and it is beautiful. Here we go. First rounds, 357 Magnum, six hour elite performance ammunition. It's got some horsepower to that, dude. New Mag Rask. These full size combat revolvers are just easy to shoot, man. All right guys, so the Model 586 was often also called the Distinguished Combat Magnum, and it is a beast of a revolver. It is a six shot revolver, so it's standard six shot, chambered in 357 Magnum, so you can also shoot 38 Special or 38 Special Plus P through this wheel gun. This revolver was carried by police and armed security professionals throughout the United States. This revolver saw a lot of use during the 80s. This is my first L-frame Smith & Wesson. My previous uh, revolvers that I've gotten from Smith personally have been K-frames. So guys, one of the things about this revolver over a K-frame size revolver is that this revolver is an L-frame. So it has a thicker, frame underneath the barrel and also the forcing cone itself is thicker on this revolver. So it's made to handle 3 to 7 Magnum ammunition all day long. This revolver is made to last thousands upon thousands of rounds. Just extremely high quality. We're using the Sig Sauer Elite Performance 357 Magnum ammunition. It is 125 grain and it's traveling at 1450 feet per second. So it's moving out pretty good. All right, guys, the Smith & Wesson 586 Classic. We're shooting nothing but 357 through it so far. Full-size handgun, just beautiful. Nice. Clears that out real good. Reload out of the rask here. Two at a time. And then just force them off. Peel them off. Once you get the last ones in, just drop it. Takes a tiny bit of practice, and I'm getting right back to it. Guys, this 586 from Smith & Wesson has amazing balance. It handles the 357 Magnum all day long with no problems. The recoil was minimal while we were shooting it. It was very enjoyable. It has a full length barrel lug underneath the barrel to help reduce muzzle flip and keep you on target. Very enjoyable to shoot. The ejector rod is fully protected here. And it's a full-size ejector rod right here, which makes it really easy to get those spent cases out of the revolver when you're done firing. The cylinder is starting to burn my hand. That's what happens when you shoot them fast, guys. You tend to burn your hand. Let's try some strong hand. And last, Rask. Offhand. One 
miss. Not bad. I don't shoot offhand, so. Doing really good, man. Classic Smith & Wesson. Sure is beautiful. The sights on the Smith & Wesson revolver are standard Smith & Wesson. You have a red ramped front sight and a square outlined rear sight that is fully adjustable for both elevation via the screw right here, windage here on the side. The top strap has serrations to reduce glare and it has a matte style blued finish up top. So you can see it's not the shiny blued gloss type finish up top, which all the way around does help prevent glare. Just very well done. Full size revolvers, it's easier to use the rask. Yep. I love it, man. This thing is awesome. What an awesome 357 Magnum. Last reload with the Rask here. I don't know how I'm gonna like this, but let's try it one-handed. Not bad. And it clears out great. Yep. That is a nice revolver. Lockup is so tight. All right, you're up. This revolver has the old school square butt frame to it, and these are the grips that come stock on this wheel gun. They are a target profile, and they have the Smith & Wesson medallion in them on both sides. And by target profile, I mean look at the profile of the grips. You can see how it gets thicker near the bottom entirely. Just a great overall profile. This allows you to get high into the gun and it just feels amazing in hand when you're wielding this revolver. The back strap is fully exposed and you can see that it has serrations down it, vertical serrations. And this is a la the old school Smith & Wesson revolvers. So this is very, very high quality, very nice, a very nice touch to making this revolver look like one of those old school Smith & Wesson revolvers. So guys, let's talk about the trigger on the 586 Classic. First of all, because it has the exposed back strap right here, it does allow your hand to get closer in, makes it more comfortable for you to be able to reach in and get a hold of that trigger. Very comfortable shooting position right here. Double action trigger pull on this Smith & Wesson revolver is very good. Very consistent in its pull. It is a little bit heavy, maybe a little bit heavier than some of the PC guns but it's very consistent and I found it very user friendly. On the return spring, it just shoots it out there, which is what we have come to know from Smith & Wesson and what young Breda and I really like. Very strong return spring. As far as single action is concerned, that looks like all the other Smith & Wessons, doesn't it? Very nicely done. And when you touch the trigger, you're gonna notice there is no movement. You're against the wall and it snaps. Nothing not to like. Very well done. This was a pleasure to shoot. Maybe one of my favorite Smith & Wessons, and I know I say that a lot on different ones, but this one I think is even better than those. I don't know if we got a good one, but this thing is tremendous. Neil Magrask. Let's go ahead and talk about lockup as far as this 357 Magnum is concerned. You see that? Absolutely nothing. Just a tiny bit there. Just a little. So overall, it's very excellent.
lockup is terrific on this. This revolver also comes in at 41.3 ounces and it is completely made of carbon steel. So like we said, it's the old school. It's the classic. This is the one that's going to most remind you of the 1970s revolvers by Smith & Wesson. This thing comes with an MSRP of $839. Again, these $800 revolvers may not be here forever and it's an opportunity for you to grab a Smith & Wesson if you've always wanted one. And last one for this revolver for me. New Mag Rask again. Nice shooting, dude. That is a super sweet revolver. Wow. Yep. It is just so smooth. The trigger's great. The uh, revolver is absorbing all the recoil of this 357 Magnum. This, these are all 357 Magnum. We're not cutting any corners here. All Magnum rounds. You guys know I've been shooting uh, a lot of revolvers over the last couple of years, but I have to tell you, this one is just coming to me so naturally. The reloads with the Rask are great, and the revolver from Smith & Wesson is fantastic. Last rounds for me, one-handed. It's a 10. Yep. You guys that own them, and several of you said you have this exact revolver. Wow. And we're no strangers to Smith & Wesson revolvers, but my God, this is good. Call it how it is, man. This thing is a 10. Yep. Nice job, young Beretta. I hope you guys enjoyed this review on the Smith & Wesson 586 Classic. And if you're interested in this revolver, or anything else available from Smith & Wesson, go ahead and check out their products on their website. As always, everyone, thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Brett and I, Millimeter USA, and support us on Patreon if you'd like for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future.